All right, I'm going to type uh, trees, and I'm going to make mistakes, but I'm not going to stop for the mistakes. I think that I shall never see a poem uh, lovely as a tree, a tree who's hungry mouth is pressed against the sweet um, earth flowing breast a tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray a tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair Uh, upon, I make a lot of mistakes, whose bosom snow, <laughs> snow is, snow has lain, huh. couldn't read it, lane who intimately lives with rain poems are made by fools like me but only God can make a tree now look at all the mistakes I made. I made plenty of mistakes. First, I want to put a line in here, and I want to put a line here. A tree whose summer wear, let's see, what does the poem have it? The summer wear, and then a nest of robins is underneath that line. A nest of robins are upon, let's see, oops. Upon who? Okay. So I can fix these pretty easily, though. And this is what we're going to do. I think that I shall, and this is never. So I highlighted it and I fixed it. This one will be easy. Tree is one of the options. Whose will be one of the options. Hungry will be one of the options. This should be mouth, and it doesn't see that. So I'm going to retype it. Mouth is pressed upon, and this is um, how Joyce writes it. It's his poem. Breast, of course, should be this, and and what is it? In this paragraph, a tree. Okay, first of all, this is leafy, and here it is leafy. Arms to pray. A tree and summer wear a nest of robins in her hair upon that's one of the choices whose bosom snow has you see I'm, I'm simply left clicking and right clicking to fix the words that are wrong and um, I don't know if there's a period here. Let's see. This should be a comma, according to Joyce. And this should be a semicolon, according to Joyce. And this should be a comma, according to Joyce. And this should be a period, according to Joyce. And so... 
Well, there are well there are lines that are in green underneath. The lines in green indicate that the um, grammar may not be correct, but uh, it's a poem. Now, let's see. I left the N here, and lift. So this N is gone, and that now that's correct. So everything looks right. And now that I have the poem right on my screen, I could dress it up with a drop cap. So I'm going to highlight the I. I'm going to go to uh, insert um, format rather drop cap. See that? Click that. I have several choices. I'm going to pick this one. I could say how many lines it'll go. I'm going to say um, four lines. And uh, this is what it looks like when I say four lines. So that's a drop cap. I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree. A tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the sweet earth's flowing breast. A tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. A, tr a tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair. Upon whose bosom snow is lain, whose intimately live, who intimately lives with the rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. And you can make this on your computer because you are a computer student. And so when you're done with this, let me know. We're going to add a photograph to it or a clip art.